Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, we talked about the car, the polishing job. Now we're going to talk about the diamond. <laughs> How God polishes us up through life. We're going to liken us to a diamond. In God's beautiful process, he has shown jewelers how to chip away at a rock until he comes up with this, this shine and this, this dazzle. And if that man knows or woman knows how to cut that thing just right, that diamond will reflect the most brilliant of lights. Ah, oh, there's nothing more beautiful to me to look at. I can get mesmerized looking at a flawless diamond. When I go to jewelry shops and I, I know I have to buy cheap, the first thing I want to look at is the most expensive diamond they have. And I ask them to let me see it. And the reason I do that is because it shows me what things are supposed supposed to look like this is what a real valuable diamond 50 something thousand dollar diamond is supposed to look like so when i get my little thousand dollar diamond or my five hundred dollar diamond if i don't get anything else i want that dazzle as close to the perfect one as possible and when god is developing us he wants to see his his reflection. He wants to see brilliance in our hearts, brilliance in our love and our attitudes and our ways. He wants to see us just shine like the sun, the son of God. So what happens when that jeweler is getting that diamond ready? He's chipping and chip, 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 cut, 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 chip, chip, chip. Boy, I'm telling you, if I were that diamond, I'd be one mad mamma jamma because I would not appreciate all that banging, chipping, cutting. You know, how much of me are you going to cut away here? But no matter what they cut away, the more they chip, the more they cut, the more they polish and all that, and heat, they hold it over the flame. So, I mean, it's like, I don't know what it is about heat. God is really into heat. I'm not. I like a house to be warm. But there's only so much heat any human being needs. And life seems like it is burning your backside. It's like, do I look like a, a, a porky pig to you? You gonna fry me like bacon? That's what life feels like, doesn't it? Yeah. And it will bring out that attitude too. Because we are in the flesh. However, God is still working. He's working out the ugly and he's working in the new. He purifies us like gold. And gold has to be purified through the furnace. Through the fiery furnace. It cannot be purified in the freezer. It cannot be purified under a pretty little blanket. Mm -mm. It has to go literally through hell. Through hell's fire. To be purified. Uh, I, you know... I wish this, I really hope this encourages you. Because life can do a bang up job on us. And when we're getting banged around and knocked around and we're getting all bumped and kicked, we wonder, well, does God really love me or uh, is he punishing me? And there are times God is preparing you for something 10 years down the road. And he's allowing life to happen to you and all the pain that comes with it. Because he knows by the time he gets you there, so much of your dross will be burnt up in flames. So much of your filth will be chipped away. And the diamond, the brilliance that is within, starts coming through. When the polishing takes place and the fire gets on your behind. God knows what he's doing. Let him enable you to grow. Let him. Don't fight him. You hear me? Obedience is better than sacrifice. No matter what. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. 
but to trust and obey. Your change will come.